What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I wanted to show you a game that is probably only going to appeal to the nerdiest of you, but this is still a game that is fantastically fun for me. Uh, welcome to Armored Brigade, probably the most realistic uh, 2D uh, simulator of, of uh, military combat I've ever played. It's actually really in-depth and it is super fun um, now basically the only way that you would probably be interested in this is if you are the kind of person that likes watching my videos on project reality or games like squad or like the military simulation stuff because this is a really in-depth uh, military simulation for commanding AI. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool things about this um, where you can command an entire platoon, uh, an entire detachment of, of um, armored vehicles, infantry, mechanized platoons, all sorts of stuff. And you can actually also play as a single commander. Um, so for instance, here's my HQ section. I am a person that is actually inside of this uh, infantry fighting vehicle, and if this gets destroyed, then we actually lose the entire game. Now, you have a bunch of dynamic objectives that you have to achieve across the map. You also have enemy forces, which are currently... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, come on, scout team. Don't do this. Don't engage that. You're going to get yourself killed. All right, anyways. Um, and this is probably one of the coolest simulations when it comes to just being a commander of a large military force. Um, and the funny thing is, is you can zoom all the way out here, and you can obviously see all of the symbols and icons that are true to life with what you would see or what you would use uh, in, in an actual uh, military command scenario. But uh, if you zoom all the way in, it's actually a very highly detailed game. You have these vehicles, each one are simulated. The sound effects are also really good. Um, so it's like you're sitting here and you're commanding this this large um, this large force, uh, and even though it seems kind of just like a map, it's it's a fully it's a fully simulated uh, engagement. So it, even though the graphics are simple, and even though the 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 kind of like visualization is simple, it is a very in depth simulation of the actual engagement. It's really cool. Um, it, it actually even goes all the way into simulating the wind uh, for for the the area that you're fighting in. So depending on you know like the speed of the wind, it will actually affect a variety of things. I don't know. It's it's pretty cool. Again, this is probably not everybody's cup of tea, but it is cool enough that I really wanted to show you guys. So we're actually in a dynamic campaign right now. We're coming in. We're trying to take this city called Fintel. Uh, we've got my scout infantry here, which have decided to engage a couple of mechanized BMPs, and the BMPs are confused and can't really see where they're being engaged from. We're going to push up, we're going to unload our infantry, uh, and then we're going to, let's see here, we're going to advance to contact with these, um, with these M1 main battle tanks, uh, and th un unlike other RTS games, this isn't the art kind of RTS where you can just control everybody and they instantly respond to your commands. Like, depending on a variety of factors, uh, you will not even be able to get your units to actually do what you tell them to do. So just like in a real combat scenario, like the, the chain of command, oh, oh, they, they fire, they're firing artillery. Oh, no. Okay, get out of there, guys. You're getting artillery... So that's why they weren't firing back. Oh, no. <laughs> um, depending on the morale of the units, depending on, you know, the chain of command, depending on, you know, if they have access to radios and stuff like that, you're actually going to have a uh, difficult time kind of getting your units to do what you want them to do, which I think is pretty cool. Again, like, this is more of a realistic portrayal of what a command situation would be uh, if you were in a real engagement. I'm surprised. How, how many casualties have we taken? Oh, all right. So you guys took two casualties. There's one guy left. How many guys do you have? All right, you're still full force. I'm going to tell these guys to retreat, even though they are uh, panicked and <laughs> they're cowering. They have two casualties and they're moving back. Let's see, hold up. Are you also panicked? No, you're good. All right, let's get my scout units out of there. These guys are doing pretty good. I think I'm going to push these guys up to this tree line here. Advance to there. So, I don't know. This is really fun for me. Uh, let's see. We've got our infantry here. 
advancing into this town. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in our Kiwa. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go ahead. We're going to move our uh, we're going to move our Kiowas into. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Wheel vehicle. Hold up. Stop. Let's go ahead. Cancel your orders. Let's go ahead and push you back into these houses. Oh, not good. These guys are these guys are going to eat it. Looks like this BTR is having trouble figuring out where they're coming from, though. Oh, and as you can see, you just saw the guy turn in. So even the little details, so you saw that this BTR, uh, the, the driver, was actually turned out, and his head was outside of the, the, the vehicle. And then when they started taking fire, he turned in, and now they're scanning for where am I? I don't know. It's really cool. There's so many little details in this. Like, oh, hey, what did I take out here? Is this... Did we get taken out? Oh, no, no, no. We took out them. All right, good, 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 good. We've got... Some neutral, looks like some civilians here. And that's another thing that's really cool too. This actually uh, simulates like civilians. So like there's there's going to be like uh, civilian cars and other civilian things that you have to avoid and not get engaged with. All right, these guys are still having trouble seeing my scouts, which is pretty good. You guys should really not uh, do that. <laughs> but you know, hey, pop smoke. All right, I'm going to tell these guys to pop smoke, and then they're going to retreat. Look at this. This is so cool. It's just like Project Reality, the top-down RTS. <laughs> That's super fun. All right, we're going to take our main battle tank platoon. We're going to speed up everything real quick. Let's see, advance to contact. We're going to get to the other side here. All right, 20 seconds until they move out. Oh, what is this? Oh hey, what are these? Oh hey, the scout team is trying to flank this BTR for some reason. Good luck with that, guys. <laughs> and because they're in this field, so you've got this this giant field here that they're actually concealed. Oh yeah, no, but that did not <laughs> that did not last. I don't know why they decided to do that. All right, so now this BTR has dismounted its infantry. My scout team's moving back. I've got my Kiowas up. And we're going to start moving on this objective. So we're going to push our tank platoon to that point. In fact, let's go ahead. Let's have you guys advance so you can see that. We're going to have our mechanized infantry platoon. Delete all waypoints. And we're going to have you guys advance here. All right, 30 seconds until they're moving out. Our scout team has unfortunately just been wiped out. Looks like our Kiwas maybe are taking fire. Oh, yep. They just took down a Kiowa. As you can see, there's the crashed Kiowa. And now everything's on fire. And the fire might spread. All right, let's see here. All right, we're going to move up our M2 HQ team. This is, uh, we've got a bunch of, we've got a couple of Bradleys. And this is my personal, my personal, uh, command formation back here. And we've got a man pad. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to move up this man pad. You move here. So we're going to get anti-air. All right. Tank platoon's pushing up. All right. We've got contact to the north. All right. My command platoon hopefully will be able to take care of this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Hold up. We just got into a serious engagement here. Okay, so our M1s have just pushed up, and we've just ran into what looks like some kind of mechanized platoon. Let's see here. We're going to make short work of these guys, though, because these are M1 tanks, and these are just BTRs, it looks like. We do have some infantry there. The infantry are going to be kind of a threat. Oh, yep, infantry just took out one of my main battle tanks. That's not good. I really need to get my infantry pushed up here, but unfortunately, it seems like these guys are having trouble. They're pushing across the bridge. All right, come on, guys, let's go. Okay, looks like my main battle tanks are really getting destroyed by this infantry. But we've got one battle tank that's still up. All right. That tank just took out everything. Let's move this battle tank into the objective. Just lost our main MBT. That sucks. Whoa! 
And my command is actually taking fire. Ah. Oh. Okay. It looks like they destroyed my command. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, well, that's basically it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick demo of this game. It's really cool. It's really in-depth. It's very realistic. Is this going to be the kind of game that all of you guys are going to be into? Probably not. I'm not even sure if this is going to get that many views because it's going to be so outside of my normal realm of video. Um, but it is really cool. It's called Armor Brigade. Check it out. I think it's pretty fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, cheers!